Hello children, in today's video, we will be doing punctuations in English grammar. Now children, while writing, we show words and sentences separately. We also show whether a sentence is a question or an exclamation or a statement. We show what each person has said in the course of conversation. We also show these and many others with the help of certain marks. So in this topic, punctuations, we will learn these various marks which are used in English language, which changes the way how you read a particular sentence. For example, we have the first sentence here. Let's eat, grandma. Similarly, we have, let's eat, grandma. So, what is the difference here? In this, let's eat, grandma. Here, someone is telling that let's go and have food to grandmother. Whereas, in the second sentence, it, when you read it all together without the comma, let's eat, grandma. Here, it sounds as if someone is going to eat grandma. So, punctuation is very, very necessary. Otherwise, there can be confusion and misunderstandings. Let's see the second sentence. Woman without her man is nothing. Whereas the second one, woman without her man is nothing. So, there is a vast difference when you add punctuation marks in sentences or in paragraphs, which changes the entire meaning of what the other person is trying to express. So, let us see one by one different types of punctuation marks. The first one is the full stop, which you all have been using since you started learning English. It is used at the end of a sentence. It shows a longer pause and it also ends a certain sentence. For example, dogs are loyal. So, after every sentence, you add a full stop. Second one, it is also used in an abbreviation like BSc, which is a course, MBA. You use full stops in certain abbreviations as well. Next is the question mark. So, a question mark is used at the end of a question. For example, what time is it? Question mark. Do you know the answer? Question mark. So, beside here, there are different types of question punctuation marks given like exclamation, full stop, comma, question mark, colon, semicolon, quotation marks, etc. Next is the exclamation mark. Exclamation mark is used after a sentence or an interjection. Okay, after a, a very, a sentence where expresses a very big expression, that time an exclamation mark is used. For example, wish you all the best. Second, congratulations. Next is colon. A colon is used to introduce a list of examples. For example, there are three types of volcanoes. You add a colon and then you add what other types like active, dormant and extinct. Second example, we need the following. What are the things that are needed? After that, you add a colon and then you add the words. A pen, a pencil, a ruler and a piece of paper. Next is the semicolon. Semicolon shows a pause. It is used to separate clauses, especially those which are not joined by a conjunction. Semicolon separates clauses or phrases that are related and that receive equal emphasis. For example, we are planning to go get coffee, semicolon. However, he had to cancel. So, there is a pause there. Second one, 
Meghna said she was tired. Semicolon. She stayed up last late last night. The next mark is the quotation mark. So children, quotation marks are also known as inverted commas. They are used to mark quotations or a specially used word in or phrases. Double quotation marks are used in conversations. Single quotation marks are used to highlight a word, a phrase or a group of words. For example, Mickey said, I can't believe you are rereading. A good man is hard to find. So you all can see double quotation marks are used or double inverted commas are used because there is a conversation here. In the second one, she said, I finished my homework. So you are also double inverted commas or quotation marks are used. In the first sentence, if you can see, the name of the book is having a single quotation mark. A good man is hard to find because it is a name of a book. That is why it is highlighted with a single quotation mark. Next is dash. So dash is used to separate certain part of sentences. For example, if only I had won the elections. But why discuss that now? Okay, so the sentence is being separated. Next is comma, which is very common. Commas are used to show a slight pause. They are used to separate words in a list as well. For example, Daddy, I have a question. So, comma is put after Daddy. Second one, the entry includes chips, salsa and a beverage. So, here there are many things that are mentioned. That is why after chips, we have a comma. Next is a hyphen. A hyphen is used to connect the parts of a compound word like double click. So in between double click, there is a hyphen. Easy going. In between easy going, there is a hyphen. Hyphens are used to form compound words or join word units. They are also used to join prefixes, suffixes and letters to words. For example, 42 students. So, 42. In between 42, there is a hyphen. Second is up to date. In between up and to, there is a hyphen. Next is capital letters, which is very, very important. Capital letters are used to begin a sentence. It is also used when a proper noun is being mentioned in between the sentence as well. If it is the name of an important person or a country, so proper names. For example, what's your name? So what is in capital? She is fluent in English language. She is capital S and E is capital for English because English is a subject. The third one, she is Shushma from 9th A. So, S is capital and name is capital, Shushma. Next is apostrophe. Apostrophe is a punctuation mark which is used to show that a thing or a person belongs to somebody. For example, this is my brother's bat. So, brothers, there is apostrophe S. Second one, cannot. So, when you use a short form of a word, cannot, can't. So, after C-A-N, there is a apostrophe, then T. Similarly, for they are, they are, they, apostrophe R-E, they are. So, children, with this, we conclude with the explanation for punctuations. Thank you.